Hey there mini wargamers, welcome to Seasick Pirate Studios. My name is Curtis and on this episode we're going to be unboxing Alania and Elephor, the Eclipsian War Sages. Alania and Elephor, students to Tecla Centurion, display an unrivaled amount of skill in the arts of magic and combat, despite only being 50 years of age. In the pursuit of knowledge and enlightenment, they travel the mortal realms fighting along those who seek peace and order. These twins combine physical and magical strength rolled into one model. Wielding the godly blade, Altiri, and the divining staff, Dianir, Alania and Elephor can support any force with a general of order. So let's crack the box and check out the mini inside. So this mini comes on one sprue and comprises of 12 different pieces. It sits on a 40 millimeter base and is cast in plastic. It'll set you back 29 pounds from Games Workshop. And like all kits, it comes with an instruction manual and it has all the rules for it in the back if you don't have your wall scroll cards or your battle tome. So looking at all the parts on this mini, it's highly detailed. So looking at the owl, all the feathers are really nicely defined. You can even see the eye as well on the, uh, on the owl there. All of the armor plates have got really nice details to them. All the lines on the staff look really nice, especially on the gem. The face is very distinctive. We've got the crest that sits on the back as well. The rune in that is nicely carved out. The cloak, it's got really nice folds in there so you can get lots of shading in while you're painting. My only issue with this sprue is the sword. Although it looks badass, it actually is bent. So this can be fixed with a little bit of heat if you just get a hairdryer on it. But when you pay £29 for a model, you do expect all the parts to be intact and complete. So let's put this miniature together and check out the finished build. Elania and Elephor are built and this mini looks really cool. I've straightened the blade which wasn't too difficult and I've cleaned off all the mould lines. This miniature has a lot of beautiful details and I really look forward to painting it. Assembly was relatively easy. The only issue I had was gluing Elania onto the crest of Elephor's back. The joint is small and when you apply the glue you'll need to hold her in place so she doesn't fall. But once the bond clings, you shouldn't have an issue. It would have been nice to see these minis separate, as I think the pose of her leaping over her brother's back kind of takes all the focus off of Elephor, and the joint on her ankle looks really fragile. So my rating for this model is 7 out of 10. Although the details are stunning, the mini is just too fragile, and even the slightest nick or topple could be disastrous, so you need to be careful. From a painting point of view, there's so much you can do on this mini, and painting it will be lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more unboxings and painting tutorials, please visit my channel. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment on how you would rate this model. Take care, and we'll see you next time.